Hey, what's going on guys? Um, today there will be an upgrade to my 4-way SLI setup and um, I always mentioned the issue with the video RAM because there's only at the moment the, the 1.5 gigabyte video RAM um, with the GDX 580s um, like also with the GDX 480s and that is not enough um, on a single 30 but especially in Nvidia surround with three 30s but also all kinds of intermediate resolutions um, so many issues because uh, some 3D engine that is not a challenge on a single screen can become an extreme challenge when you more than tripling the resolution and so that issue is solved by Paylit and also Game Ward well, both belong together um, with the GDX 580 3 gigabyte versions um, also the Phantom 3 gigabyte version and this card they have the same PCB and especially in 4-way SLI um, this setup balances pretty much performance video RAM bandwidth and I also always mention platform and if one of those corner points is not up to the standards of the others then there will be issues and um, this makes really the pay the GTX 583 GB version here it makes it uh, with the Phantom card the, the top card the big gun uh, on the market right now and um, the 3 GB version it's it really it in my opinion it obliterates the competition completely because uh, difference is so big and first um, I will show you how it looks like inside the case right now and then I will show you a couple of results and all of those um, benchmarks and results are not possible with the 1.5 gigabyte version so check it out so that's how the system looks like right now um, the day has come it's uh, the last time I'm taking a look at my Liquid 4 way 580 ED editions with the acetyl nickel blocks, 4 way bridge, and uh, nickel back plates. So I will now remove that setup uh, and um, have another look. Alright, so I removed the Liquid 4 way 580 ED editions, and here they are the GDX. 580s 3 gigabyte versions from Paylit and 4-way SLI on the Liquid SR2 with the 5680s and the 12 gigabyte OCC 797HPC so I will now make a first test and then let's see what kind of a boost the the Uber system can now create Yeah, Crisis Warhead max out. 16 QAA at 2560 by 1600, which gives maximum image quality. And uh, 12 gigabyte forward SI and stock clocks. Now it really makes sense um, to show this setting as there are no video RAM issues anymore. Also perfect in-game. And here's the result. Minimum 59, average 75 at stock clocks. Yeah, Crisis Ward is not a challenge anymore for the Paylit 583 GB versions in 4-way SLI. Absolutely an over-the-top result at stock clocks.
Yeah, now it also makes sense to show the the ambush run with 16Q as there are no video RAM issues anymore. And 12GB 4 SI. Also here at stock clocks. Yeah, absolutely amazing performance with 16 Q A A 2560 by 1600. And um, here's the result: minimum 48, max 95, average 75. Amazing performance at 16Q with the payload 583 GB versions in 4-way SLI. Yeah, also showing the old Crisis, which is still my favorite benchmark actually, at uh, 2560 by 1600 DX10, 64-bit, very high, with 16Q AA and 12 gigabyte forward SLI at stock clocks. Uh, now having the video RAM to run this benchmark, so 3 gigabyte per GPU. Um, I made an observation actually that uh, platform performance is very very important even at these settings. Um, much more important than in Warhead. So you need high megahertz power on CPUs and system RAM for good performance. And here's the result. Um, I did eight loops, and there's uh, minimum 31, max 80 of the final run, and overall average is uh, 59 frames per second. Amazing performance in crisis at max out settings. Yeah, also showing Metro completely max out. Also now with four times MSAA. And I also did some mild overclocking. Uh, 12 gigabyte forward SLI at 900 on the course. Really extreme demanding benchmark. Um, but um, in my opinion it does not reflect the performance demand in game because it runs perfect with stock clocks in game also this very scene
are also micro stuttering here. It's really on the limit. Here you can see the settings top. First run is uh, 42, second run 46, third run also 46. Um, but as I said, the the in-game performance is much better, and um, the 583 gigabyte versions in 4 by SLI they max it out with stock clocks. Also, this very same scene. Yeah, and here's uh, again Chrysler's Warhead and Nvidia surround. And now you can really see the power of the Payload 583 GB versions and 12 GB 4 by SI. Also using mild overclock of 900 on the cores. And um, this is really one of the Uber settings. Crisis warhead. This is the 8024 x 1600 Enthusiast DirectX 10, and there's 8 times AA. This is maxing out the video RAM in game, it really uses like a 2.97 gigabyte video RAM, and even exceeding at certain points when you're zooming. really see the über performance of 12 gigabyte for the SI. You can even use it in game this setting. And here's the result. Yeah, video RAM problem with minimum 0.38, but there's an average of 35 frames per second and max of 39, and this is with 8 times AA. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, here's also another run at uh, 8024 times 1600 but just with two times AA. Also 12 gigabyte for my SI again at 900. This just uses around 2.4, 2.5 gigabyte video RAM. There's minimum 13, max 39, also average 35 with two times AA. And this is the setting I'm using at the moment, right before recording. It was very well in game, used around 2.5 gigabyte. Video RAM is like 6018 times 1200 with 16 AA. Got 12 gigabyte 4 by SLI also at 900 on the course.
Yeah, absolutely impossible with the 1.5 gigabyte versions. As all of those settings are. And here's the result with 16 AA, minimum 28, max 65, average 56. Absolutely amazing performance with the Paylit 583 GB versions in, in 12 GB 4-way SLI. Yeah, thanks for watching. And those were the first benchmarks and my first impressions of the GDX 583GB versions in 12GB 4-way SLI. Um, absolutely amazing performance, um, solves almost all issues. Um, that's absolutely amazing. Actually, um, there is some airflow issue cooling the block cards, so I installed two times. 120 millimeter, 160 CFM controllable fans from Silverstone, and those ventilate the block cards, and that equals out the temperatures. Um, there will be blocks for this card and also for the Phantom 3 Gigabyte um, from EK Water Blocks, which is also an amazing thing because um, when the cooling is changed, then this it will bring this setup even further to uh, to the next level which is also very important so on the next video there will be a couple of more benchmarks and um, maybe also some in-game scenes so thanks again for watching